all right guys welcome to the first video in the series of the first actual tutorial so we're gonna cover um, variables and for a variable to work we actually need to make a script and to use a script we actually need to have a scene so to have a scene we need at least one node and we're gonna use the most basic node in Godot and that is just the node so to create a script now we need to add a script we could either create it here or we could right click here and then create a new script from here but in this case you would still need to go back here and add the script to this node so let's just hit this from here we could call it uh uh let's let's go by the default name so node so by default the node is gets the same name as the node that it's on so let's create that so for a variable you use the var keyword and the variable as i said can be dynamic so for example a number could actually be a string and if you want to typecast it you could go string and that cannot be used as anything else so let's just use a basic function a built-in function i mean we could say print and number save that and save it as a scene code and we could run that scene and there you go got hello printed out there and since it's dynamic we could actually change this number to be a integer so let's put it as 100 and then we could print it out again in this case though since i had this here i can't actually change it so let's get rid of that and then now we could run it there you go and if i put that back we're gonna get an error there you go cannot assign value of type int to string but if you go here now and put int here we're gonna get an error right here and we have to set this as an int in the beginning there you go that's pretty much variables so we could add variables together like maybe two strings so let's put a and we could copy this and b could say print number a plus number b there you go get four uh, let's use something more realistic so five plus four is nine and there you go so you could also do this with um strings so let's set this back as a string let's say hello and world remember that needs to be a regular variable and if we do that we won't have a space so let's put a space right here we're gonna cover strings on its own in another video there you go hello world and i all right so apart from that a variable can actually be a lot of built-in um classes such as nodes and resources so for example i could make this a let's say let's call this a um a class and let it be the type cast it to maybe be a um let's see what could i use here let's say node and there you go and you could look at the node but example let's go here see what we have what we could print okay let's print the name so right here we could say node or a class sorry a class equals node dot new and in order to access it we need to actually add it to the scene so we could say add child and then we say a class what this does it's added to directly after here i'm gonna try to use as less um nodes as possible since we're gonna focus on just here and then we could say a class uh 
print equals print equals dot name and now you get node down here well not really you have to actually it does prints the name but it's an actual let me show you that's the actual name that it prints there so let's go back. I'm gonna go over all of this in a future tutorial like remote and local local is what you're working with and remote is what's happening at runtime all right so we could actually give it a name so let's go a class a name equals Trevor fire for example and now if we run it again there you go it prints the name and in remote the nodes actually call Shavifier. If you want to actually check what type you have, you could actually pass a uh, type of check. So you could say print, say type of, and put in whichever number you want, whichever variable you want to check. And this returns an integer with a bunch of constants. Or you could just check print a boolean. You say type. And these are all the different types you could get. For example, type string, we could search for string. So type underscore string. This would return true. There you go. And otherwise, return false. Since we set it as a um string here could always change it or let's go back here let's duplicate this let's bring it back here and we could pass number a equals to one or zero and remove this colon remember that type cast is it make you can't change it which is kind of good but in this case I just want to show what changes so it should be false and then be true again. There you go. So it changes it at runtime. All right. So that's it for variables. Um, variables are used pretty much for everything. And you have different types of variables. Like for example, you could create maybe a float. And if you just do colon and then that, and then put in the value, this automatically set it to be a float because it recognizes that this is a float um, value. Same for world and this guy here. And in that case, you can't change it as well. You can change it here, but let me show you. Number A equals 10. Shouldn't work, but there you go. It recognizes it as a string. So that's the same as assigning the string here all right that's it for this video so next video i will be going over functions okay thanks for watching guys like and subscribe and see you in the next video